Steph from the BMW DIY Guy. My project today is going to be the Turbo Smart blow off valve on my BMW F32 435. I'm really excited to get this in. I've been reading great things about this upgrade, how it can actually make a noticeable difference in your car that it feels a little bit snappier. And I'm excited to get this in. So if you watched my previous video, I had the uh, Diverter Plus in. Nothing against those guys. I think they make a great, great product. I just wanted to try this new thing. So we're gonna be taking out the, the DV Plus diverter valve, which has that OEM uh, diverter on as well, and then installing this TurboSmart uh, blow-off valve. This really isn't hard work. There's really, when it comes down to it, not counting the, the bolts for your belly pan, that really comes down to kind of three bolts to, to, to take your diverter out. It can be a little difficult, it's just more detailed and will take your time. So make sure you check out the tools in the description below. I'll lay out the best I can. I'll walk you through all of this process and then you can be successful at this and add this upgrade to your car. So let's get out to the garage. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are out on the garage. Let's talk about getting started on this. So first of all, obviously you're gonna have to jack your car up. You can do this work with uh, a jack and two jack stands. Obviously I'm using my quick jacks, which I really, really like. Check out my video on that. Um, but I'm always gonna stress, anytime you have a car in the air, do it safely. Uh, do not uh, bet your life on a cheap hydraulic arm in your jack, just don't do it. So even if you think you're gonna be okay, please don't, right? Get, get some jacks, jack it up properly, and get some jack stands, put it in the right place, or go ahead and get quick jacks or something similar. So get your car up in the air, and then you're gonna wanna take an eight millimeter socket and take off uh, the dozen or so eight millimeter uh, bolts or screws, excuse me, that hold your belly pan on. So go ahead and take that off. And then once you have that off, you're gonna see that there is a uh, plastic like skid plate underneath it that kind of protects where your steering rack is. That also has a mate, some eight millimeter screws in it right underneath there. So go ahead and take that off as well. And then we're gonna get underneath the car and I'm gonna show you what we're looking at. All right, so here we are underneath the car. Uh, I've taken the belly pan off. I've taken the, the skid plate off that kind of covers your steering rack right here. Like I said, eight millimeter screws. And then what I've done, and you've got a pump right here. Let me backtrack here. A little bit hard to see. I know this strap is in the way right now, I'm sorry. But you'll see right here, <laughs> hopefully, I got my finger here where you can see my finger. So you'll see right there and right there where I've got two empty, two empty screw holes, right? Right there and right there. Those are E12s to move this pump. Those are reverse Torx E12s. And so then your pump that has two bolts at the bottom and one bolt at the top, so it'll pivot on the top one. So then I took a toe strap around the hose for the pump to pull it out of the way because right there you can see is your diverter valve. You can see the plug on it and you can see two out of the three um, uh, uh, bolts holding it in place. So um, I've got the go fast bits in right now. I really wanted to try the Turbo Smart blow off valve, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out. So on the plug right there, on the right hand side, on this side, you can see there's a little horse, horse collar clip. You want to pull that up, so you like use a pick tool to pick that up, and then the plug will come off. And then all you have to do is take those three bolts out. So Two out of the three are easy to get to. The one on this side is easy to get to. There's one right at the bottom, which is a little bit hard to see right now because the hose is in the way, right? You can kind of see it right there. There you go. Those are easy to get to. The one on the other side is a little bit harder. So um, I'll show you the trick. So let me grab my Allen wrenches and get those bolts out. All right, so I've got it out. Um, let me kind of show you since it's easier to show once it's out. So this is essentially when you're underneath the car, this is the position you're in. You're looking up at their logo right here. The plug is kind of pointing down towards the passenger side wheel and you've got the one bolt on the side, the one bolt on the side, and this top bolt, which is the hardest one to get to because it sits up, like, sits up like this and it's hidden. It's half hidden, so you really have to be at a really kind of strange angle. So what you really need to do, and let me set this down for a second, is what you're gonna want is a ball headed Allen wrench. So as you can see with that ball head on it, I was able to come at it with an extension and a wobble to come up at, the, at, at, an, at an angle because the ball head lets you come in 
at a non-straight angle, right? Instead of having to be straight on, which is really hard to do because of all of the pipes and everything in the way, this allows you to be offset pretty dramatically, as you can see, and still be able to turn the bolt. So this allowed me to get up in there. So this is a, you know, an extension and a, and a wobble. And what, basically what I did was, is I took a five millimeter socket and I put a straight five millimeter Allen into it. So this is the Allen that I used before uh, when I installed the, the go fast bits uh, diverter valve, right? So this is, an, this is a ball headed Allen with the bend cut off and it just fits a five, mil five millimeter Allen fits right into a five millimeter socket. So I just put it in the socket, a little bit of tape so it wouldn't fall out. And that way I could actually get at that angle to get that bolt out. Be determined, it's, it's not hard. It's just not a lot of fun. It just takes, it just takes a lot to be able to get to it, to get it, to get that in. So same thing's gonna happen here, right? When I put it back in. So the bolts for the new uh, Turbo Smart diverter are shorter. They look pretty much almost identical to this really. They're just shorter and they're five millimeters as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here with just a little bit of electrical tape, just a very, very light wrap of electrical tape to hold the bolt in place like this. So when I'm feeding it up in, I can feed it up in place and I won't knock it off. Then I can slowly turn it in, turn it in. So I'm gonna start on the hardest one first, which is that upper corner, okay? So with the new diverter valve, I'm gonna put it in, or the blow off valve, excuse me, I'm gonna put it in the same orientation. So when you're looking at it and when the plug comes off and the plug is coming down right here, that kind of 45 degree angle down towards your passenger wheel. So it's gonna be in the same orientation here at the top. Now the other thing is you've got a couple of gaskets here, so make sure that they're not dirty or you didn't get anything on them. And as you slide this up into place, try not to rub it up against anything and get it dirty, okay? So we're just gonna slide this up into place. I'm gonna take the toughest one first, this upper corner, and put, put that one in first with the shorter bolt. And put that one in first and then I'll put in the other two. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so all three bolts are in. So they're gonna be a little hard to see because everything's, you can see right here with my finger, hopefully. <laughs> right there. This is the bottom one right there. And now you can see without the shadow, sorry about that. So all three are in. The top one is, is a challenge. There's no way to say it. Uh, Brian of Keith Motorsports said on a scale of one to 10, it's a 36. He's not kidding. Um, it's even harder than the one with the DV plus because the DV plus, the body of the DV plus is more narrow where this has that kind of, um, balloon shape. So you have to come at it from an angle. So it's just a matter of working on it, working on it. I showed earlier the five millimeter, uh, ball headed Allen into a five millimeter socket on extensions and an angle joint. And it's just a matter of just finding the right angle again and again and again and, and working on it and working on it till you till you can get it there. So um, it's plugged in now. We got shadows, sorry. So here's the plug. So you've got the original OEM plug plugged into the longer extension plug off the new blow off valve, which is great. So everything else is plugged back in. Remember, we, I pulled the two bolts off the bottom of the steering pump here. Those are back in those E12s. Now you need to do is just put the skid plate that's right here back on, which is the uh, eight millimeter and your, and your belly pan, which are a whole bunch of eight millimeters and you're done. All right, all done. So um, actually I think it was Brian of Keys Motorsports that said on a scale of one to 10, the install difficulty is a 36. <laughs> you know, I don't necessarily disagree, but uh, it's really that top bolt. It's the one bolt that, that, you know, there's two that you can see really easily and that top third one that's really difficult to get to. So I wanted to share a couple of tips and tricks, especially after thinking about it, getting the work done, spent having a little bit of time to think about it. So first of all, what I did was, is I had a 10 millimeter, and I'm gonna use my pen here as an example. Excuse me, I had a five millimeter ball headed Allen wrench, right? So it's got the bend in the end, so I cut the top off of it, so it's just straight. So then, if you didn't know this, I didn't until recently, that a five millimeter element wrench fits into a five millimeter socket. So I fit, fitted that into a five millimeter socket, put a little bit of electrical tape around it to hold it in place so it wouldn't come out. And then on a wobble, 
So I've got a wobble at the other end and then various lengths of extensions, you know, for my socket wrench just to find that exact right length. Now this can be a little bit hard to show, so I'm going to do the best I can. So think three dimensionally here, right? So if this is, you know, that diverter valve you're trying to get to, you know, the front of your car, you're looking at the front of your car, you've got your two bolts that you can get to really, really easily and you can get at, get at them from kind of an under angle, especially with that ball headed Allen wrench, right? Because the ball doesn't have to be in straight. It can come in at an angle. So those two bottom ones or the two exposed ones are easy to get to. The top one is really hard. When you take the OEM out, you can actually see that you can see that that top bolt and you can come at it from the under angle. But due to the design of the TurboSmart blow-off valve, which is kind of a teardrop shape, you can't see it anymore from underneath. You can't get at it from underneath anymore either. So what I found, and then as you try to get it, get to it straight on, there's actually an oil loop. It's a metal pipe that comes down that right above the blow-off valve that makes it really difficult to get to. So then you can't get at it from straight on. But here's what I found. And so as I mentioned earlier, I took the bolts out of my water pump and set the water pump pull out and down. That allowed me to get my hand up above the water pump and I could get my fingers right at the top of the blow off valve where I could feel, because you can't see it, I could feel where, that, where the hole is for the bolt to go in. And I also can feel that metal loop right at the top. The other thing I did is that I took my, my cut five millimeter Allen wrench, right? With the socket on it and then my short extension. So five millimeter, five millimeter socket, a wobble and my short extension. So then I slid my hand up between uh, the, the radiator, which you can feel right here. There's a little bit of gap. You've got all your cables and your belts and everything else right here. Your diverter valve is right back here and you've got your radiator right here. I'd slide my hand up and then I could feed that five millimeter down, here's that loop of that pipe, and get it right over, the, right over the top of that pipe and into the bolt. And now again, I've got my left hand up where I've got my fingers where I can feel, I can feel where the hole is. I could, I could slide the bolt in and I fed the whole thing down so that ball headed Allen could get right on top of the bolt. So then with my short extension stuck out, it would be stuck out just enough, just barely beyond all the, the pipes and engines and cables and belts and everything else like this, right? So then I'd feed my socket up, put my socket on there and turn, 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 and there's tight. Though in my example, I just went the wrong direction. It would be that way, right? So that, I really hope that helps, right? Because it's almost easier to explain here than it is to show there because there's so little space. Everything is so tight that it's so hard to get to. Now, here's the one other, one other piece of advice. If you find you cannot get to it at all, right, that you just can't seem to get to that bolt, the one thing that does come down, so, so again, kind of you know, looking, looking at where it's mounted in the car, you've got that oil pipe right there, which is never going to move, it's gonna sit there. But on the other side, right here, coming down right here, is your turbo intake pipe. So I just recently did a video on how to upgrade your turbo intake pipe, so you can check that out, and you can see how you take it out. You'd have to take your, your air filter out, the pipe out, and then take the turbo intake pipe out. What that does is that opens all of the space above your diverter valve right there. You can look down from above, you can get extra light. Now, because of the angle, you still can't see where that bolt is from above, right? You still can't see it because it's tucked back behind the motor. But what it does do is you add all that extra light. When you get back in from underneath, and again, Here's your diverter valve sitting here and you bring your left hand up. All of this space now to the left and up of the diverter valve is now open because the pipe is gone. So you now can slide your hand up much more easily to get your hand from above. So if you have to guide in your Allen wrench, you have to guide in the bolt, you can get to it much, much more simply. So I hope that helps. This really isn't a hard job. It's just hard to get to. So this is something that I believe you can do though. And I'm really grateful for Keys Motorsports. Brian is fantastic. Check them out for all of your upgrade needs. This TurboSmart uh, upgrade, I'm really excited to have in the car and see the difference that it makes for me too. So I really thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on my, on my next project.